Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. Now, today, chums, I've got something a little bit unusual that's happened over on the No Man's Sky Assistant app and also on the website. So beforehand, there was only the decals inside of the Quicksilver store, and then when they came to an end, there was nothing then after. I've checked the app today, and some new items have appeared. But they couldn't have appeared from the internal update. Anyway, let's jump on over and I'll show you what's appeared, because they're rather curious. Okay, people, let's jump on in. Chikapapa! And here I am over on the app. And you can see here, there's the eye statues that just finished prior. Then it moves on to number 88 that's in progress. And we all know about these decals right here. They're in the Quicksilver store right now. But now I can scroll up. After those are these red Titan, gold Titan and green Titan fireworks. A 60 Quicksilver FRO. So that's probably going to add another two weeks on. So these are going to end around the 12th of... June, then another two weeks on to that, it's going to take us up towards the end of June. Then we've got these posters. Look at these. We've got a scrambled signal poster, which actually looks quite groovy. A ship parts poster, which is pretty darn freaking epic, considering we've now just all got ship customization and stuff thrown in. Lovely. And a bake sale poster. Interesting. Well, they haven't touched cooking for a little while, but is there something on the cards around that? Do these posters mean anything? Does it mean we might be getting more ship customization in the next update as well as bacon stuff? And this scrambled poster. Don't really know what to make of that one. Anyway, after those at 90, we move on to 91. I mean, these will take us into the start of maybe, well, to at least to the end of June and maybe early July and then we've got three new fireworks which brings us right up to Independence Day over in the US over in the start of first week of July doesn't it you know the 4th of July or whatever we've got the purple ribbon firework blue ribbon firework and teal ribbon firework and then then there's nothing inside of the Quicksilver store after those but as you can see we've got a whole repertoire of stuff that could take us into early July so the whole thing about the Quicksilver store being empty and being one of the signs, we can take that back off the freaking list, people. So all we have now is partial sales and the depot internal branch updating, which is far from all the normal signs. So we're now doing a little bit of backpedaling, aren't we, people inside of the community? Hmm. The only thing that can save my... Thoughts and feelings on whether an update is going to drop in the next week or two would be an emoji or trailer from Sean of the Murrays. This is quite troubling, people. Even my sort of estimate that we might get something around the 12th of July, or June, sorry, has gone out of the window. Now I've hit up Kurt to say, what the fudge is going on? Howdy, Mr. K. Ah, just check the uh, app. And we have a few more pages of Quicksilver items appear. Fireworks times three posters, then more fireworks. Saying they got added in the Omega update. Does this? Does it? How comes the app has only just picked them up now? Is it due to them changing the ambin? But yeah, I did point out that it, it does sort of you know, link into Independence Day quite nicely. And he's put, howdy. Hello Games has a tendency to duplicate the firework items. For example, if you search for a sorted fireworks pack in the app, you will see five fireworks that have the same picture, names and descriptions, but in the game files they have different unique IDs. I'm not sure why they didn't just create one item and reuse it. So the fireworks that are up next in the community missions were added in the Omega update. But other fireworks that are identical, but have slightly different IDs, won't say that they have been added in the Omega update. It's cool that the fireworks will be active close to July the 4th. Hello Games might have planned it that way. It usually takes like two weeks per tier, and CM started on the 24th. Six weeks later is the 5th of July. I'll have to check the CM end date. See if it's changed. I'm just at the office today. He's got a remote in, etc, etc. So I'm not expecting a reply. Maybe until maybe tomorrow or something like that. So depending on the reply, I mean, it might be quite beefy. It might be quite interesting, but it might just be the end date of all of these fireworks combined. To see if it does tally up with my theory of the 4th of July, 5th of July, that sort of thing. 
we'll have to wait and see people inside of the viewerverse for that one but um yeah i really don't know what to make of this peeps because i tend to use the quicksilver merchant and the store of the quicksilver merchant the quicksilver items as a little bit of a um a timeline of when we might see an update but to see items just suddenly appear in there when they weren't there just a couple of weeks ago that I've set all my theories on has kind of scuppered my brainstorming and my speculational mind. Ah, uh, very odd though, very odd indeed. But it does get us talking about this and also, I mean, silver lining, some pretty awesome fireworks, some pretty lovely posters. Not quite an update though, is it though, people? You know... So at the moment, my hype train is firmly placed in its station, or back in its station for rework. Unless we see something else from the Murray that actually lets us put the foot back on the gas. And the only thing that's going to do that for me right now would be an emoji. Come on, Sean. Let us know. Is there an expedition or an update on en route? Drop an emoji. Haga, that'd be lovely. Thank you very much, Hello Games, if you're listening. Salute to Mondo and all that sort of shenanigans. But yeah, at the moment, it's, it's quite difficult finding things to do inside of the community space when it comes to content and videos. Yes, we have been doing Light No Sky, and I have started a new series of How to Play Solo, which I need to get a wiggle on and get a couple of episodes out, which I am going to do. It's just that this whole shenanigans of the sales starting, the internal update updating, Sean being a little bit more active on Twitter with screenshots and retweeting stuff about Game Fest or Summerfest or Jeff Keighley, it's just got me a little bit excited, people. It's press my animate button. Now I'm back in live. I guess. I've just had a cup of coffee. That could explain my jumpiness. But anyway, people, until next time, salute to Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.